So uh, Barney Gorman, that's Tony Danza's character, he drives a garbage truck, and this truck has a mechanical issue. Let's take a look. This thing still isn't working. Hang on a second. They don't go to the plastic pails already. Uh, I could work it. Why can't we just get a new truck so I can work it? I told you why. Yeah, loyalty. loyalty. Yeah, the other guy in that scene is a man called Fred Stoller. He's Gorman's co-worker. Love that guy. Really? It's so funny. He has a small role. He shows up only on occasion, and that's fortunate for the bull because I cannot stand Fred Stoller. He's been a stand-up comic for decades, and he's had a million bit parts and a million different things. But I get the sense from interviews that he's dissatisfied about never getting his uh, quote-unquote big break. Hmm. Yet he chooses to talk like this. Hey, Fred, maybe stop sounding like Barney Gumble from The Simpsons. Maybe then a more desirable role or two will come your way. He sounds like a bratty child and not a very bright one. Sorry, Fred, that voice you make, and you have to make that. You have to go out of your way to sound that way. It's a self-imposed salary cap. Deal with it. Yeah, and also when he was uh, stand-up, um, he was like one of the one of the guys you'd see like when they first started playing like uh, – was evening it, at the Improv, that sort of thing. Evening at the Improv, yeah. uh, Caroline's Comedy Hour, those type of things. Mm. He was a big hit back then, but his whole act was how he was a nerd and, like, I'm out of control. Like, I, I do these things that are very lame. Right. And he would make it sound uh, like he was doing something exciting. I, I'm explaining it poorly, but his whole act was portraying himself as kind of a loser nerd type of guy. So you can't expect to parlay that into... Uh, a leading man uh, roles? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 